Talks is a wonderful opportunity to speak to members of the media. Um, I'm a space scientist and I want more space scientists and more scientists out there. So I've spent uh, a number of years going out and speaking to school kids. I think I've seen about 180 in the last six years. Uh, sorry, 180,000. And so I'm a bit knackered. <laughs> but by speaking to the media, I think we can make sure that science is accessible to everybody and um, generate a sort of a scientists of all shapes and sizes in the future. And that's my goal. So I have a three-pronged attack. And my first thing is role models. We need to get more pictures of female scientists out there. Usually when I tell people I'm a female scientist, they look at me a bit funny. And I think they expect me to wear dungarees and carry a sparrow or something. And suddenly they get covered in grease. So I decided to become a space scientist when I was about three years old. And it all came from watching The Clangers. And The Clangers are coming back to the BBC. And I met them the other day, so dreams can come true. <laughs> But um, I, I got the space bug um, when I was young because I heard about people like Yuri Gagarin and Neil Armstrong going to the moon and I wanted to go and visit the Clangers so it seemed like a natural progression. Um, it was quite a challenge for me because I suffer from dyslexia and I was in the remedial class when I was at school. But um, that's why when I go out to schools, that's the sort of kid I'm speaking to, the kid that's disillusioned and showing them that no, you can live your dreams. Uh, so that's the message I try and get across. <laughs> and, um, and with my three-pronged attack, um, this is what I do. Role models. Um, if, um, Three, four years ago, we were celebrating International Year of Astronomy. And what we did is we looked back in time to try and find out who were the first female astronomers. And, and we found a few. I mean, we went back to sort of, you know, um, 2000 BC, and we found this woman, chief astronomer, priestess of the moon goddess of the city of Babylon. Snazzy title. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know like that myself. I think everybody has an interest in space. So if I was to meet a young girl today who said that she had that interest, I'd say that nurture it. Um, the space industry is truly booming. and People actually call it recession proof. So um, if you get a job as a space scientist or a space engineer, I think you've virtually got a job for life. Uh, so um, if you're that way inclined, I think you should pursue it as a career. Because um, I'd like to say that uh, my career has taken me to the edge of the universe. So if they join us, where will their career take them?